In Queens, there's now a $20,000 reward offered for information in the death of Karina Vetrano. She died also while running alone in Howard Beach. The two similar murders have many thinking twice about running alone. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco went to find out about self-defense techniques every woman should know to stay safe. For runners like Stephanie Galinsky, it is a time to decompress. I actually run to relax. I run to think things through. But this is not a time to let your guard down. In fact, you must be even more alert. The two recent murders of female joggers, grim reminders that anything can happen anytime and anywhere. And women must be prepared. I really hope that my instinct will kick in at that point and try to defend myself. Again, it's, it's really hard to, to even think about what would you do. Self -defense Defense instructor Roz Hen with Krav Maga experts in Union Square says women must think about what they would do if ever face to face with an attacker. And that starts with being aware. We don't want to be stuck in our phone and uh, play or text. We want to be aware of what's going on around. If you are grabbed from behind, hands up and look back, one to the jaw. Always aim for the weak points. Towards the groin, towards the throat, chin, jaw, temples. Nose, eyes. Strike with the base of your hand. It's not about power, it's about accuracy, it's about speed and aggressive technique. Use your surroundings, anything to get away. You have a ground under you, take the ground, throw it to his face, kick the groin. So we want to always think about moving our body towards the back of the attacker. Don't stay in front of the attacker, don't be face to the attacker. Think about striking, think about movement. And use your voice aggressively. Go back off, go back. Don't come any closer. And one of the most important things to remember do not be afraid to fight back. It could mean the difference between life or death. Reporting from Central Park, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. A few other safety tips run with a partner, know your path, and tell somebody about your route, and avoid listening to music, which can be a distraction.